sua volta. Então é melhor apertar o cinto. For the first time we have a Brazilian artist in the Fast and Furious, it's Ludmilla. Yeah. She's a, a big singer in Brazil. That's how you say Ludmilla? Ludmilla. I've been calling her Ludmilla the whole time. You should have told me. Ah, but it's... <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and uh, she's on the rise. Yeah. She's very famous she's in amazing. Brazil. Can you tell me a little bit about her participation in Fast and Furious? Oh, she's amazing. So, so you know, on in every Fast and Furious movie, when there is a race, a quarter mile race, there's always a cameo for, for the starter girl, for the flag girl. Uh, and and then we heard that Luigi Jamila was interested, and uh, yeah, obviously, you know, we're all such huge fans, and Vince, Vince a huge fan. And we said, please, come on. But it was very tough because she had a very, very, very hot schedule. Uh, she came to see us. She did her part. She was incredible. She had so much energy. And it was like sort of like, it was funny because she had, she had to do some kind of a choreography. So I had to sort of like guide her and tell her how to, you know, how to do the choreography. She was fantastic. We, you know, obviously we didn't understand each other. Okay. I don't even know how to pronounce exactly her name, but, you know, we got along perfectly. Yeah, people in Brazil are very excited to see her. In the oh, movie. she's amazing. And uh, so there are some scenes that take place in Brazil. How was the characterization of the country? How did it? Well, you know, it's the second fast uh, to happen in Brazil. Uh, uh, the first one, Fast Five, was the one that changed everything for the family and, frankly, for the franchise. So coming back to Brazil was very important for us. It was very important to, you know, make a statement, you know, saying, like, we're going back to the main, you know, to the core of the story, to where it all changed for the family, when the family, the stakes for the family became much bigger, much more personal, and and so we had to go back to Brazil. And did you know a lot of Brazil? Or you well, it's my, you know, uh, uh, I've shot there before. I shot on the Granite Hulk. I shot so so. Yeah, I love Brazil. I, I you know, I'm obsessed with Brazil. You know, it's so nice. And can you tell me a little bit about the uh, participation of Paul Walker's daughter? Yes. Yeah, so 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 Paul, you know, it's Meadow Walker uh, has been part of the family for you know since the very beginning. Uh, and, you know, she's been an amazing supermodel for many years and she was not an actress and Vin offered her to be part of, the, of our movie. She said yes, but she, she was very nervous, very nervous. So she came on set very nervous. It was my first time meeting her and she said, you know, I don't know how to act. I was like, it's okay. It's going to be fine. But it was a very tough scene because she had to like, do what is toughest for actors, which is handling props. So she had like three mini bottles and a key and then push a cart and everything it was very hard. The first shot was very complex and she did it so perfectly that it sort of relaxed her and then she got better and more and more comfortable. And by the end of the day of doing all this stuff, she was like, I'm an actress. I am an actress. I told you, you are an actress and she's amazing in the movie. People clap. People love her part in the movie. More to see, you know, you'll see her many more times in the Fast franchise. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. That's so nice. And uh, is it hard to say no to Vin Diesel? No. It is, it is not hard to say no to Vin Diesel. It's not hard to work with Vin Diesel. It is amazing to, to be part uh, of his family. He's a lovely man. He's a man that just welcomed me and welcomes literally everyone. Like they're really part of his family. Uh, uh, I spend nights working with him every night. We spend weekends with our family. I, I have found my brother in Vin Diesel. I love him. I, I had the impression that it's a, a huge, really a huge family. Right? <laughs> and my last question, what was the most difficult scene to shoot? Uh, you know the you know the, you know the most difficult scenes to sh scene to shoot was the bedroom scene in the beginning because the the house was rebuilt in London but we they built it for real so it was like a real house so it was like it was it was very small to shoot so you know blowing up stuff everything yeah, it's very hard obviously but when you get to like small stuff and you have to speak you know talk about you know very personal moments these are like very tough scenes and that was also my very first scene on the movie so I remember it as like hard you know and the rest went smoothly but I was like I was like very nervous that was a scene where I was the most nervous it's a great responsibility uh, right thank you yeah, it's huge it's the gr I mean to become to be a fan 
to grow up as a fan in many years and then be handed this the key to the kingdom and just the responsibility of like guiding this franchise towards the end. Uh, yeah, every day I was very, very nervous. But again, going back to Vin, he calmed me down. Every day he calmed me down. Like, you know, looking straight into the, his eyes or Michelle or Charlie's, you know, you know, Jordana, the family members, they really made me feel like I was one of them. So. That's so nice. Wow.